everyone, I'm Jana Linus, the manager of early learning at Connor Prairie. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about tinkering. Tinkering is one of our favorite things to do at Connor Prairie, especially with our earliest learners, whether they come to a playtime in the prairie or they are um, a student in our preschool. We love to set out um, invitations to play that simply involve lots of different materials. And so that's what tinkering presents to a child. It is um, a space where they have a variety of different materials and maybe um, a, a blank canvas or a piece of paper, um, an empty tray, um, maybe nothing at all. Maybe it's just a, a blank space for them in front of them where they can create whatever they'd like to. And so today I have some examples of things that I just pulled from my own home. And I'd like to show you what some of those things are. So I've got um, a Lazy Susan here with some pasta, some, um, some rings that go to uh, some canning jars, some dice, <laughs> uh, some roofing nails, um, all different kinds of things here. But children can be then free to explore with all these different things. I really like, I'm going to point out to that I really do like to put things in uh, clear containers as much as possible because then they can see no matter where they're sitting exactly what's available to them. Um, another idea that I have for a tinkering tray is it's a, a cupcake transporter basically that I have you could take to a party. I put in um, some paper cupcake liners or muffin muffin liners to be able to separate out the different items too because there are there's a hole in the bottom of each of these. But then I just pulled lots of things from my home and through laying out something like this in front of your children or just at the end of a table so they can feel free to come by and notice it and sit and explore with the different materials, it fosters independence. And um, especially if they are given lots of time, uh, they're bound to probably sit and spend much more time than you're anticipating because of the number of materials they have and the variety of materials they have. They can be really creative with these things. And um, there's just really endless possibilities here. It also gives an opportunity for problem solving or even um, watching and seeing what other people are doing and maybe adding something else to what they're doing or offering someone else a suggestion to help in their, their creation or the thing that they're trying to build. Um, so you can see Literally, you can put anything in these tinkering boxes, set them someplace where children will see and give them an opportunity to just sit and create whatever, whatever comes to mind. You might be surprised at what they think of. So thanks for watching and have a great day.